Hi, my name is Christopher. Um, I'm an Arizona licensed EMT. Um, today I'm going to be showing you um, the stuff I carry in my car, in my trunk, in case there is a car accident I see I can assist. Um, first I'm going to show you my trauma kit right here, <clears throat> and then we're going to go over to my um, med kit, the medications, and then I have another bag. I'll show you what's in that later on. So first of all, this is my trauma bag, <clears throat> and on the front, you can see it has the pack saying that I am a certified emergency medical technician, and um, I got that when I passed the uh, national registry exam, and um, they give you that the first time you pass it, but when you go for your research, they don't give you anything else, it's just like a first time thing, so I put that on there. So we open up <clears throat> here. And you can see I have a lot of stuff up in front. Um, one of the things I carry in the one pocket <clears throat> is right here. It's a Bandrill cooling spray. Uh, it's for outdoor itches and bug bites, all sorts of stuff. Um, <clears throat> I just like to carry that up in front. Also up in front, I heat my tape. <clears throat> Several rolls of tape. Medical tape, this can be for bandages, or if you're making a splint for somebody you need to tape it, you can use that. Also, I have um, my stretch gauze over here, too, and that's good for a lot of things, too. So, if you're putting a bandage, you always tape it over. Kind of like a coban type of material. Um, what I also have is I have pen light. Actually I have two in here. This one actually has the um, pupil sizes on one side and it's just really good to carry because if you're going somewhere and if ALS arrives um, you can just tell them okay well we have pupil sizes of this because when they go to the hospital there's gonna be times when the doctor said well what's the what was the pupil size because that can indicate several different things in the patient. <clears throat> Also, I carry a knife with me, <clears throat> and this is good for if there's a car accident or something, and there's like a seat belt you need to cut, it's just good to have a knife. Um, <clears throat> so I carry that with me, and it goes into a little slot here. I got this bag, <clears throat> uh, it was called the website was called, um, I think it was called Firehouse Medical, but now they just sell um, mostly training supplies, like training dummies, so they don't have all the stuff they used to anymore, which is kind of a shame. But I get all my medical stuff now, either there's a store in Phoenix, Arizona, where I am, um, and there's also one online that's called SaveLives.com, and which I bought several stuff from them too. They're out of... I think like Connecticut or something, it's really good shipping, good prices and everything. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> also I have some scissors, you know, cut bandages, whatever. I have one of these, that uh, goes in another slot. Um, I also have another pen light, so I was talking about. Sometimes the battery's a little messed up on here, the light. But this one's replaceable, I think it's a AAA battery. Um, this one's you can, buy, you can buy in a medical store, scrub store. Um, <clears throat> so there's that one. Um, some other things I carry is a trauma shears, and this is good for cutting clothes. <clears throat> also bandages. I used to work at the hospital, and these work great for cutting bandages as well, <clears throat> or um, not bandages, uh, bracelets, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> then we come over here. We have some dressings. Here. These are going to be my 4x4s, and I have a whole bunch of these. And these you can just get like at CVS or Walgreens, drugstore like that. I have a whole bunch of these. Um, then over here, I have... I just recently got these. These are <clears throat> moist dressings. Hydrogel dressing. Um... People use these for burns, but you can really use these for any kind of abrasion, 
something like that, scratch. It's just a cooling bandage, so it keeps it cool. I mean, because like, you can get a burn, it's going to be hot, of course, but any kind of irritation, too, I'll put these on. So it's kind of like a multi-use <coughs> um, bandage. And then in the back here, I have iPads. Not the iPad, like electronic, is an actual pad. <laughs> um, <coughs> these iPads, what they're good for, if there's some eye injury, it's just gauze. I mean, you just cover it up, tape it to somebody's head. And they're good to go <coughs> to get further evaluated. And then I have over here <coughs> these um, these are called closure strips, and they're basically they're just like a butterfly strip. <coughs> but what I like these better is the fact that they're really long, so you can cut them to size of what you want. So if it's like a big cut or small one, you want to seal up. You can really just cut to your size that you want, so that's why I like them. So, that's that. <clears throat> and so on the sides here, I'll show you what I got. <clears throat> on the side, I keep rolled gauze. And I have a whole bunch in there, maybe like six. Uh, on the other side, what I carry, I carry two boxes of these, which are triangular bandages, and you can see on the back all the sorts of uses. You can make slings, you can all, do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, <clears throat> so I carry that with me, two boxes of those, and then I carry I have a big Sam splint. This is good for arms and legs. It's the large size, and you can just mold it to whatever. So I have one of those. <coughs> and I have also, I didn't realize Sam Splint also makes finger splints. I picked these up. It was actually at an REI store. Um, <coughs> with REI is like a, if people don't know what that is, it's, it's like an outdoors type of store they sell kind of stuff camping and hiking climbing whatever um and i found these which i thought was pretty cool you can use them for fingers so <coughs> that is that <coughs> so if we go to the main thing in my bag a little clip here <coughs> we have on one end we have a wound wash, it's an antiseptic wash. And yeah, it's a first antiseptic, just cleaning off general wounds and stuff. You can also use this for irrigation as well. Um, <clears throat> so I have that. And then what I have over here, this is an eye cleaning kit, it's an eye wash. If somebody gets a chemical in their eye, they something, something's bothering their eyes, it's an eye wash and it comes with a little cup here. I have wrapped up here some plastic cups. I just wrapped them up in some plastic wrap. What I have these cups for is if I do need to irrigate something, because I will show you later on, I do have irrigation syringes that I will just put the um, antiseptic wash <clears throat> in here and I can just suck it out of the cup. It makes it easier because it doesn't, the syringe doesn't fit in the bottle. And then I have, <clears throat> I have a pocket mask for a CPR, anybody that goes down. And with this pocket mask, this is what it looks like. So if you ever need to use it, oh, it's kind of tough, but this thing pops out here. pops out like that and it has a valve here <clears throat> that you can attach and you can also put a BBM on here attach it to that and this one I've had this one for over two years I actually had this one 
when I was going for my EMT license, it was we had to have this in our class. We really never used it, but yeah, we have that one. It's a good thing to have. <clears throat> and then if you go in the front here, we have two boxes of OPAs. And if people don't know what OPA stands for, it's called Oral Pharyngeal Airway. And it is what, basically, so you don't swallow your tongue. Um, what they look like, <clears throat> this is from infant size to an adult. And they're all wrapped up right now. This is what they are. It's plastic. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I have two boxes <clears throat> because there's just one size of each in each box, like one infant, one adult. So I have two. I got two boxes. Um, so <clears throat> then the front here. These are some eight by ten trauma pads. They're abdominal pads. So we call them here trauma pads. These are good for any you know, large bleeding or anything. You can throw one of these on there, apply pressure. Then I carry two of these. These are irrigation syringes. And this is what I was talking about before, why I have those cups. So I put the antiseptic wash. So I use the syringe. Also what I carry, I just got these lately. and. Not many people would carry these. These are what you see in the hospital. They're like little mouth swab things that like people used to use them in the hospital to keep their mouth moist and stuff. I like these because I don't think you can only use these for the mouth. I mean, I think you can use for all sorts of things. I, I like it because you can use it for if you're applying some kind of ointment on somebody, if you need something to absorb fluid on something. I think these are great, they're universal, so and then we have on the side here we have a blood pressure cuff, which is your basic blood pressure cuff. It's good to have checking vitals for people. <clears throat> and for all of you EMS people out there, you know that's one of the first things you're going to check on somebody. I mean, if they're alert oriented, I mean, if they're not, if they're still breathing, you're going to check vitals. You got to base it. <clears throat> so we're going to put that there. <clears throat> and then the back, I have a bag of nightshell gloves. These used to be in a box, but I just put them in the bag because the box was taking up a lot. And I think you like about 50 to 100 <coughs> gloves in here. Um, so I keep that in there because you can never have too many gloves. Then in here, <coughs> this is a little kit I picked up in the store. I just think it's good to carry as well because inside <coughs> is your basic stuff in here. Um, what we have, we have some of the smelling salts, which is right here. Have several of those. Um, you have your band aids, things like that. <clears throat> and here I bought, I have a whole bunch of add on to it. There's a little BCK, antiseptic wipes, good clean off wounds and stuff. Um, then we have like little ointments here. You know, burn ointments, <clears throat> anesthetic ointment type stuff. And then I also have in here, it came with the tweezers, which is good. <clears throat> you know, if you need to pull anything out of somebody. Um, they give you these little swab things, which is good to dab things. Um, I think you can also make splints out of those with those too. I mean, if just putting a tube there, they work the same way. But I also have a tongue depressor too. I have several of those. Um. <coughs> so that's what's that. And at the bottom, I have my stethoscope <coughs> and my 
Whitman stethoscope. This is the classic 2 SE stethoscope from Whitman. Very good. Um, <coughs> I keep that in here. Lidman's are really good stethoscopes. Um, <clears throat> another brand I would really recommend too that I've heard really good things from is a brand called MDF. Um, they make some really good stethoscopes as well. I would say MDF and Lidman's are really good. So if you're wondering what kind of stethoscope should I buy, I would get a Lidman or an MDF. <coughs> And they, a lot of times they say like for students, oh, you just need a basic one. <clears throat> but really, just get a good one because it's going to last you a long time when you're out in the field and you're going to use it. So don't go buying crap when you can just buy a decent one and have it forever. So <clears throat> what I have in this pocket here, <clears throat> here, this is an inclusive dressing. All you EMTs know what this is for. Gunshot wounds, you know, sucking chest wounds. So, this one is pretty cool because it has a little valve on there. And, yeah. So, let's see. This is um, from BCS brand. Also, I have in here, we have a little trauma pad in here. Then what I carry, I think I have one or two of these. This is emergency blanket. <coughs> and you can buy these at Big Five, Sports 30, whatever. But these are just good to have, especially if somebody's going to shock and you need to warm them up. Um, <coughs> and then we have a whole bunch of these. Surgical dressings. These are another 8x10s. These are just more elongated. Um, now we carry, I have two, or, no, I should be three, um, N95 masks. And this is really good too if you are treating somebody that has some kind of respiratory issue. But masks in general, <coughs> dealing with patients, I mean, it's always good to wear a mask, but especially if somebody has a respiratory problem, if they have TB or something. Um, it's a good thing to have. So that is that bag. <coughs> Up next, <coughs> this is my med bag. People call it med box, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, meds on it. Here, first we have our gloves on top. Um, everything is categorized in here. We have so the first box. We have pediatric cold, fever, and pain, allergy medication. <clears throat> now this is medication that I am allowed by the state of Arizona to carry. I mean it's over the counter, but. I have I know how to use this stuff, like syringes and, and stuff, and so I'm allowed, authorized to carry it. And what I have inside, if I do forget how to administer, I have for the packages. I have all the labels showing height, weight restrictions, how much I give, and whatnot. <clears throat> and I have this one is a this one's a children six to eleven years old. This is a multi um, multi symptom thing. You know, it's basically Tylenol. It's children's Tylenol. It's for fevers and stuff. So I have that. It gives you a cup on top. And then I have infant fever, pain fever. So it's just like the children lines only for infants, you no know, fever, pain. So this is a little vial. And I have several oral syringes for administering for children. And some of these came with the little adapter thing with them, so I throw them there too. Also, I have in here, 
this is um, children's allergy pill. So, and these ones actually dissolve under the tongue because you know, a lot of kids don't like to swallow. So these dissolve and basically Benadryl, like I said. So that's it for the pediatric. <coughs> cough, pain, and electrolytes. And if any of you are familiar with Arizona, we get very, very hot summers and people don't drink a lot of water and they get very dehydrated, so they need water to eat electrolytes. <clears throat> uh, so in here, I have, these are electrolyte pills. You just take them with water and they basically salt um, salt pill, most of it. And then we have our core septic cough drops. Because, you know, everybody gets cold sometimes, everybody gets a sore throat. <clears throat> then we have our ibuprofen. <clears throat> Anti inflammatory. It's basically Advil. <clears throat> then we have our non aspirin, which is, you know, Tylenol. Same thing. Pain. And then we have our aspirin, and you know, just to make sure out there before you're giving somebody aspirin, make sure they are not allergic to aspirin, <clears throat> because I do know people that are allergic to aspirin, they will have a bad reaction if you give that to them. We have our adult cold, gas, and allergy medications. <coughs> right here, you're going to have your, I think these are liquid gel gas X, just for you now, stomach gas, relief pressure, gas pains. And we have <coughs> Benadryl, adult Benadryl, for allergies. and. Arizona. I mean, allergies are pretty much year-round here, so <laughs> have a lot of Benadryl. <clears throat> then we have some cold pills. <clears throat> These are from Alka-Seltzer. I think they're fairly new. They have some night, uh, night and day. <clears throat> it's kind of like a um, Dayquil and Nyquil been pill form by Alka-Seltzer. So we have those, and this is the day one. <clears throat> So that's that. And then we have, which I would consider this is the most important. This is my diabetic section. And what we have in here is a glucometer glucose meter, whatever you want to call it, <coughs> strips and everything, checking blood sugar, <coughs> we have some alcohol wipes <coughs> when you're checking blood sugar to clean off the skin <coughs> from dirt, then we have liquid glucose for people that <coughs> hypoglycemic, um, so if they are low on the sugar, give them some of these, they should be good to go. <coughs> Mind you, if they are unconscious, I would not give it to them. I would wait for LS to come and then they can inject them with glucose <coughs> um, intravenously. Front, <coughs> carry a hand sanitizer just if you're not close to a sink or anything. Simple cleaning up your hands, from whatever germs. <laughs> so, <that> here, <coughs> I carry a few instant ice packs 
And these, I've tried them out, they get very cold. And a lot of people say, oh, these things don't get cold. They get very cold. <coughs> Here, I have another pen light. It's people gauges. <coughs> I have a thermometer. It's a temple. Thermometer, put it right up to the temple, checks temperature. And I have your pulse oximeter. I'm checking um, oxygen saturation as well as the heart rate. I have another ice pack, and on the side, I carry <coughs> some more trauma shears. And in the back here, <coughs> This was originally a tackle box for fishing, but it works the same exact way. And it just has some dividers here, so you can put inside. I just give these in the back, doesn't necessarily need them. <coughs> then I have this. This is my um, C collar bag, cervical collar. Um, right now we have two. I'm going to probably get more soon. And we have your adult C collar. Stabilized cervical spine. And we also have a pediatric one. <coughs> and with both, this is from Stiff Neck, and they have adjustable sizes on it. <coughs> from pediatric, oh, it's pediatric, but it comes in uh, mid. The mini. Then you know with the adult one you have no neck. And you have tall, regular, short, no neck. And I got this bag for it. And this is the website I was telling people in the beginning. It's called SaveLives.com. we have is I carry a traffic vest in the car that uh, it says on here EMT I bought this at a Harbor Freight the vest and I put electrical tape or EMT on there yes I know it's not centered but it still works so, so this is what I keep in my car um, Basically, anybody can carry this stuff, but like I said, I'm a licensed EMT, so I know how to use OPAs. I wouldn't recommend just the average citizen um, buying a pack of OPAs if you don't know how to use them, because you can actually cause more injury than helping somebody. Um, so, if you're an EMT, just make sure to look at your state guidelines saying what you can carry and what you can't. And um, that's it. Um, please feel free to leave comments. I mean, this is my first video I've done with my kids, so yeah, go easy on me. <laughs> Don't make any bad comments, but um, just let me know what you think. I like to hear other people in other states what they carry with them, too. So yeah, um, thank you for watching.